we were given the coordinates of vector w relative to the standard basis, and we're asked to find the coordinates of vector w relative to basis b. In general, the coordinates of vector w relative to base b are equal to the transition matrix p from s to b times the coordinates of vector w relative to the standard basis. And the transition matrix from S to B is equal to the inverse of the transition matrix from B to S times the coordinates of vector W relative to the standard basis. And the inverse of the transition matrix from B to S is equal to the inverse of the matrix formed using the basis vectors in set B. So we need to find the inverse of the three by three matrix where the first column is the first basis vector of one, zero, zero. The second column is negative two, one, negative three. And the third column is one, zero, one. And we still have times the coordinates of vector w relative to the standard basis, which we know are negative 12, four, negative 15. The next step is to find the inverse of this three by three matrix, which I've already done to save some time. For the inverse matrix, the first row is one, negative one, negative one. The second row is zero, one, zero. And the third row is zero, three, one. And then we still have times the coordinates of vector w. So this three by three matrix is the transition matrix from S to B, which is what we need in order to find the B coordinates of vector W given the coordinates relative to the standard basis. Multiplying, the first coordinate is one times negative 12 plus negative one times four plus negative one times negative 15, which is negative 16 plus 15 or negative one. The second coordinate is zero times negative 12 plus one times four plus zero times negative 15, which is four. And the third coordinate is zero times negative 12 plus three times four plus one times negative 15, which is negative three. So now we know the coordinates of vector w relative to the basis b are negative one, four, negative three. I hope you found this helpful.